Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go start the third unit of data mining. So in this lecture, we'll be discussing in detail about a classification guys. So in classification also, we'll be discussing about Bayer's uh, theorems and all those things like decision entries, uh, Navi's Bayer's theorem and all those things we'll be discussing in this series only guys, don't worry. Okay, so first thing, once you hear the lesson name or the chapter name is classification, your question will be, what is this classification? what give some examples you, your questions will be like this right yes so first let us go through the definition guys okay so classification in data mining functions that assign item in a collection of a target sorry for that categories or classes guys okay so basically here you will be having some labeled data guys okay some data so in this way so here we are having see so this is our input data okay so using which you will create something which is called as a classifier that classifier will say if i give some other input so here i am giving an input red suv and domestic okay so here we are having a red we are having a one suv but it is not domestic so if it is a domestic what will be the situation yes or no is the question so that answers will be given by our classifier guys right yes so the goal of the classification is to accurately predict the target class for each in the data so basically whatever you are testing or whatever you want it should give the answer that's it okay so if you take an example here so customer profile so here we are passing it into the classifier it will be saying whether he will buy a computer or he will not buy a computer so this is nothing but a classification guys so that next confusing word is a prediction so most of the students will be confusing between classification and prediction so remember classification is nothing but identifying into one particular class whereas a prediction is nothing but identifying the exact value so prediction can more model the continuous valued function so basically you need to have values so customer profile so it is a numerical predictor assume in that way so it is saying that 1500 dollars loan is there so in that way it will be saying guys okay yes so now let us build a classifier guys like how a classifier is built so we'll be discussing now just give me a second okay yes so always construction of classifier starts from collecting data set so basically everything will depend on data set right yes so based on that data set it will analyze classify and create an algorithm and create some rules and based on those rules on new inputs it will apply and give you the output so that is the logic behind this guys so then the data set is passed to the classification algorithm to build a classifier rules once the rules are ready we can test and do classification to particular classes based on data right so here is a small example diagram guys okay so this is your data okay so you will be pushing it to the classification algorithm it creates the classification rules so if age is equals to young then the loan decision is a risky if income high then loan decision safe if age middle aged income low then loan decision risk so in this way you wrote conditions right so whenever you pass a new information it will check those conditions and will say the result simple right so this is nothing but the creation of classifier guys okay yes so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the decision trees guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching